Hello everyone and welcome back to the match on W2K22. It is 2K22, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it 2K23? I'm lost already. We are back then with a match between two debutants here in our SWE universe. We have got Yota Suji going up against Ren Narita. This match has been suggested by 404 Metsubo. And this one is going to be a submission match. This should be a fun one. I think this was suggested quite some time ago. So we're finally getting around to it. And like I said, both these guys have just been added onto our ranking system, making their debuts. Uh, of course, if you want to check out the ranking system, there will be a link in the description down below. Uh, basically, if you don't know already, we started the ranking system back in the beginning of 2021. Every single match has been logged on there since the beginning of that. Wins and losses and extra points and all that sort of stuff has all been kept track of. So we can see exactly who's doing what. And uh, this is a great opportunity for two people that have not been in our universe mode beforehand to get themselves a point and start things off strongly. And who knows, if they impress some of you guys out there... They might get suggested for more matches in the future. Right then. So I don't know a lot about these. I, well, I know Ren Narita is he a little Shibata, isn't he? Is how I've always known him. Is he the one that Shibata's been training and uh, overlooking? And now uh, he also comes out with the uh, Ren Narita. There he is. So all... Uh... Yeah, I'm just going on the old Google. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, appeared in May 12th, 2021st episode of Dynamite, where he accompanied Yuji Nagata for his IWGP Heavyweight Championship match against John Moxley uh, in the Dark Elevation episode on the same show. Um, he made his in ring debut defeating Royce Isaacs. So, yeah, I'm sure he is. I mean, I might be completely wrong, but I'm sure he is the one who um, did a lot with, uh, with Shibata. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comment section down below if I'm incorrect anyway. Uh, but at the moment, he is struggling to uh, Yota Suji, who I don't know much about at all. I believe... Uh, let me let me actually Google this before I say anything, because I'm going to sound like an idiot if I get this wrong. I want to say he's part of Pro Wrestling Noah, not part of... No, he is part of New Japan. Okay, I got it completely wrong then. I don't know a lot about this guy then, to be honest. He's quite newish. Debuted in 2017. Um, to be honest, he hasn't really done a lot. Uh, his last time was facing Tetsuya Naito in 2021. Uh, also wrestled as part of Red Pro. Okay, so he is contracted to New Japan. He just hasn't really done... A lot in New Japan as of yet, but who knows? I think he's still quite young, isn't he? Uh, 1993 was born. He's 29 years of age, whereas Ren Narita is 25, so a little bit younger. And there is the submission reverse. Dragon Sleeper. Yota Suji rolls up. Again, uh, apologies for possibly butchering every single name. Narita with a headbutt taking down Yota. Back up to the standing base. There's the slaps right across the face. Narita now with a headbutt in the corner. You can see there definitely is a link between him and Shibata. Those big headbutts. Boots in the chest as well and... I mean, yeah, you're forcing your body weight into your opponent's chest. The problem is, Narita isn't exactly the biggest man in the world, is he really? So, Narita now drags Yota Suji across. And now him with that big PK right across the chest. Followed him with a big double foot stomp. And now Suji pops out the back. Taking Narita up in the scoop slam. And now Suji going to roll Narita over into the Boston Crab. Will this be enough to get the tap out victory? I mean, it's a, uh, it's not the most extravagant of submission holds, isn't it? But then again, if it works, it works. I suppose that's the main thing. 
big boot right across the spine. And Yota again dropping the knee right in the arm. So Smartly weakening the body parts, ready for another big submission as he heads up high, high risk, a high reward. Beautiful shooting star press. And now looks to lock in the submission. It's just reverse chin lock. It's a reverse chin lock, but at the end of the day, at some point in the match, it can become the straw that breaks the camel's back. It might only be a simple reverse chin lock, but there's every opportunity you could get the victory from it if enough damage has been done elsewhere on the body. Renderit with a big back elbow. Dragging Yota across the ring and now going to roll him through in with that big PK kick again. In with that big double foot stomp again as well. Dropping the boot into the hand and now the reverse dragon sleeper hold. Look at that contortion of the body of Yota Suji and surely he's going to have no choice but to tap out here. Can he survive this? He can. How on earth? I've got no idea. Looked like Narita was going to try and readjust and relock it in, but Suji oh, tried to turn it around into the spear, but Narita caught him with a DDT and a big headbutt as well. Isn't that how Shibata injured himself by doing those sort of things? Kinshasa as well, the big knee across the chest, and again, that reverse dragon sleeper. You see the blood pouring from the skull of Yota Suji, and there is the tap out, fantastic victory, and a really entertaining match as well, to be honest, like I said, two people making their debut in our universe mode, uh, neither are massive names, uh, obviously Ren Narita I've heard quite a lot of, because he's a big up and coming talent, but um, yeah, neither massive names, but they put out a fantastic match here, in our WWE 2K22 universe mode, is it 22 or is it 23, I'm still lost, you know, Show history. Yeah, 2K22. Okay. Well, there we go then. Victory for Ren Narita here. Thank you very much once again to 404 Metsubo for your suggestion. And um, we've got uh, another one of yours coming up, I think, over the weekend as well. Um, so that is going to be a fun one to see. Uh, of course, this is not our only match today. A little bit later on, we will have the first of our two semi-finals. Uh, where we will have a four-way elimination match between Shinsuke Nakamura, Ultimo Dragon, Minoru Suzuki, and Tatsumi Fujinami. That's coming up for you shortly. Good night, God bless, I'll be the same. Please do like and subscribe with the good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!